what is up everybody and welcome back in this video we are trying to build a neural network which can multiply two numbers in one of my previous video i have built a neural network which adds two numbers and this video we are trying to step further to multiply two numbers and we'll be seeing how this neural network works in the back end so make sure you watch full with that said, I would like to start the video but before please make sure you hit the like button because it really means a lot to me and if you have any comments or any queries feel free to ask in down comment section below. With that said, let's get into this video. Alright so this is the code which we will be building in this video and I have also tried to fit the linear regression model and we will be seeing how this works or is it better than neural network or is it worse than neural network we'll be seeing each and every code of line but before let me jump to the paint and let me show you how this works all right so what we are going to do we are going to give a neural network two inputs a and b all right i hope this should be clear and we will have no hidden layer just a single output layer which will output us value c right here all right so we have weights w1 and w2 as we all know that neural network works just multiplying weights and input values and adding some bias value to it meaning c will contain the value of this equation right here and an activation function applied to this all right i hope this makes sense to you all right good so let's see how our neural network which will gonna calculate this weight values and this bias values now what we want to do is to multiply a and b all right okay so what we just wanted to do from what we want from this neural network is to multiply this a and b now i tried really hard to figure out a way that we insert just two values and neural network automatically multiplies two number it is uh, really hard i tried that but it didn't work so i i jumped to the google and i came across with this answer where it says if we want to multiply two numbers and store in m is the easiest way to take log on both sides and th what this will gonna do is convert this x dot y to as we know log x multiply y is log x plus log y and if we put log on both sides it will gonna turn this equation to this and we already saw that neural networks can easily add two numbers okay i hope this makes sense to you now what we wanted to do is to take okay let me change the color what we wanted to do is to take the log of a and log of b and just add them to what this will gonna return us to is log of c right from this equation log of c now what we want to do once we get the c we need to apply exponential function as inverse of log is exp so when we apply exp to c we will get the actual value of c which means we figured out a way to make a neural network to multiply two numbers but by just simple logic okay so here comes the problem how to set weights even if we want to add a and b even if we want log of a and log of b so for this purpose our neural network will gonna set w1 and w2 values to 1 okay and bias to 0 what this will gonna do is it will gonna set a plus b as b is multiply 1 uh, a multiply 1 plus b multiply 1 plus 0 is equals to a plus b that is what we want to do and we will get a plus b equals to c then we will apply exponential function to it and we will get the actual value of c so enough talking now let's jump into the code the very first part comes is to create the data set how we will be creating the data set it's really easy 
all right what we want to import is numpy and random just to choose random values between 1 and 1000 and numpy to create the array all right cool so we created empty list of x log x and log y now i have uh, created a loop which runs 10000 times means it will gonna create 10000 values data set and we appended random value 1 to 1000 and random value 1 to 1000 meaning this will be a two dimensional matrix which will have uh, two columns and 10000 rows right and in every column there will be random value what we did is appended the log of first column value and log of second column value from the x which we just added now we added log of first value from this log x and log of second value from uh, that x which we just have created log x list we have three lists three empty lists all right with that said let's run these lines cool so here you could see it created a list of 10,000 values where uh, there are two columns now we will convert them to numpy arrays and let's see how they look now let's have a look at log x this is a list of 10,000 values with two columns this is a list of addition of these two values now if you want to check you can add this and this and you will get the exact answer as this cool now here i have splitted my data to x train y train using the train test split now i have created a machine learning model if you want to add machine learning model to it you are free, you are free to use this code but my main purpose is to create neural network so we will come here i have created a model sequential and i have imported sequential from model and dense from layers so i have added a single input layer with two input neurons as you can see over here a and b two input neurons and i have one output neuron as you can see over here c two input neurons and one output neuron with activation function equals to ReLU. okay what ReLU do is it if the value is negative it will turn that value to zero and if it is positive then that will be positive so it is the max of um, zero and the value which which is the output from that two neurons okay now we have compiled our model with atom optimizer and mean squared error and i have fit my model on log x log y and i have set 12 epochs and batch size equals to 12 means at single time 12 values will be transferred for training let's run these lines and see how our model performs Alright, so welcome back. I have changed the epoch size to 20. I don't know for what reason it performed really bad, but before it was working pretty awesome. Alright, so after changing the epochs to 20, the loss is 1.7 e to raised to the power minus uh, 07. So we have pretty good loss. Now let's make predictions. Um, for prediction i am creating an array of tests let me show you how it actually looks this is on which we are going to make prediction i have converted a 10 to log to log of that 10 log of 5 put that in test numpy array and reshaped it and transformed it then uh, i made prediction and converted that prediction to exponential which i have already talked about why we are doing it once I run this line, uh, 10 multiplied 5 is 50 and we have 5.0025. Let's make another prediction. Uh, what about 5 multiplied 5? Here we are uh, 25. Cool. Now, 
there is bonus lecture. We already built our neural network. You are uh, free to go if you want. Let's try how our machine learning algorithm performs on it. Let's run this set of lines. And we have accuracy of 1.0. Wow. And let's test on this test variable. Make the prediction how it is. Wow. We have accurately 25. Let's change this to um, like 10. Let's change, uh, see how it performs on 10 into 5. Cool, it has exact 50 answer. So obviously machine learning algorithm, uh, linear regression model performs better over this neural network, but this is it. So I would like to end this video at this point. If you have any queries, feel free to ask in comment section. And if you haven't pressed the like button, please press the like button and make sure you watch that video of addition of two numbers. With that said, thank you guys for watching this video.